Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Closet Check. And if you're new around these parts, then Closet Check is where I highlight different pieces and collections from my closet. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're one of my 500 plus subscribers so far and you've already done that, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's been really cool to see uh, this little channel you know, start to grow a little bit here. And if you want, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new videos that I post as well. So today's episode is about a new Chrome Hearts piece that I picked up from Chrome Hearts in New York. Uh, it's something I've been eyeing for a little while. Uh, it's one of their super classic pieces and I'm really excited to have it. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is the Cherry Bomb jacket that I picked up recently. And so again, this is one of the sort of classic pieces from Chrome Hearts. It's been in the line for a long, long time. There's actually a bunch of different variations I've seen of this jacket over time. I think the main one is actually a black cotton versus the olive one that I have here. I've even seen that black one done with full leather sleeves as well, which is an absolutely insane piece. And also I've seen a women's version of this exact same jacket as well, has a little bit of different detailing, actually comes with some additional silver on it. But I went ahead and picked up the olive color. I overall have been gravitating towards Chrome Hearts' non-black items lately, uh, especially in the outerwear department, and so this olive color really fit the bill. So overall, the Cherry Bomb jacket is a fantastic sort of mid-weight jacket that obviously has uh, sort of a military style with it, especially in this olive color, um, and just with the overall design of it as well. It has a crazy amount of silver detailing all throughout it, which really makes this piece stand out to me. Uh, the front actually has three completely different ways that you can close it up. So I have it closed up right now through the huge uh, silver crossball buttons that are done on it here, but it also has a full on zipper, you know, again, with the huge dagger zipper, just like on some of the other pieces that I have. And it also has these sort of hidden away snap buttons as well. The sleeves as well, they have the cross ball button, this huge one that's on the front as well. Uh, they have it for the, the gauntlets here, so you can use these to again fasten or to open it up to roll up the sleeves. As far as pockets go, and if you've been around this channel for long enough, you know how much I love pockets on my jackets. Um, it has a bunch, so it has sort of these two main ones around the waist at the bottom here, again, with the exact same huge crossball button here. So those are the main ones around the waist. Uh, it has these sort of hidden away ones as well that are in here. These have little zipper pulls, little dagger zipper pulls. Honestly, these pockets that are sort of in the middle of the jacket, they're a little too small and a little bit awkwardly placed as well. So I haven't really found a use for them. Uh, but otherwise, it also has the chest pocket at the top. And on the inside, it has a inner uh, chest pocket as well. Now, the fit for this particular jacket, I found to actually be surprisingly slim. I would have figured that a, a jacket of this kind of style would be a little bit more oversized to kind of go with the overall military aesthetic. Um, but it's sort of an example of how it really is best to try on these pieces in person before buying them. Uh, because I first saw this jacket in Vegas last year. And when they had it in this exact same color, I actually found that the medium fit really well. So I passed on it then and I'd always thought about picking it up. So when I ran into it again in the New York store recently, I first tried on the medium and it was actually way too small. And so I went up to the size large for this and even the large is a little bit slim across the shoulders, but, but overall I still find it to be a really awesome fit. And again, fits very nicely into the collection of uh, jackets that I've been gathering. So that just about does it for today's episode. My Chrome Hearts outdoor collection is probably pretty much complete at this point, um, you know, and having everything from a light denim jacket all the way through to a heavier quilted jacket with all these ones in between. With, of course, the exception of a leather jacket that I still, at some point, maybe in the future, <laughs> will want to get for myself. But otherwise, super stoked about this uh, jacket to be added to my collection. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Uh, if you have any questions about this jacket or anything else, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will catch you next time.